Old flying machines gobble up fuel and pollute the atmosphere, but could we construct an airborne device that could produce green energy? At this former military airbase near Lisbon, Portuguese engineers are testing their latest prototype. This balloon resembles an airship more than a wind turbine. But this European research project is out to produce wind power. Filled with 180 cubic meters of inert gas, this flying cylinder is lighter than air. The aim of this aerial platform is to capture winds at high altitudes. It should be able to extract the wind energy and send it down to the ground station. This structure is filled with helium. When the balloon spins, it generates a huge aerodynamic lift force. As you can see, it's well pressurized. Unlike the usual windmills, this prototype doesn't need a tower, so it can be deployed wherever necessary. While wind turbines have to make use of relatively weak wind at ground level, this balloon reaches the much stronger airstreams high in the sky. With this, we can go as high as two kilometers above the ground. Energy is eight times stronger and the airstreams more steady, so we can get more energy with this system. Electric motors spin the module both to stabilize it in the air and to produce a physical phenomenon known as the Magnus effect, which greatly increases the lift force. Okay, Tiago, we now can see this balloon spinning high in the air, but it's not the spinning that generates electric power, right? Correct. Right, the spinning in the presence of wind generates an aerodynamic lift force similar to what's created by aircraft wings. The balloon rises, pulling this cable which rotates the drum coupled to the electric generator. So the electricity is produced right here. As a spin-off technology, engineers are developing these propellers that could give such balloons drone capabilities or act as small wind turbines to generate more power. One can use this vehicle as an airborne platform carrying any sort of payload. An obvious choice would be thermal cameras for fire detection, as it can stay in the air almost indefinitely holding a camera. It could provide constant surveillance in any location. After reaching top altitude, the balloon stops spinning. Because of that, bringing it back to the ground consumes much less energy than what was produced. This prototype generates on average 30 kilowatts. The next goal is to stack multiple balloons together in a single airborne system to produce several times more power.